There's a glimpse in your heart guys this is teacher Mel and welcome back to my youtube channel in my previous video we discussed about the different properties of integers okay the first one is the property of one the second one is the property of zero and the third one is the commutative property but today we're going to learn about the associative property but before we start okay hi guys thank you so much for the support to all my subscribers so thank you so much all right so today we're going to learn about the associative property okay so to find the sum of three integers we can either add the first two numbers first or the last two numbers first so for example if you have 4 plus quantity negative 3 plus 2 that is equal to quantity or bracket 4 plus quantity negative 3 close bracket plus 2 which is equal to 4 plus bracket quantity negative 3 plus 2 which is equal to 3 all right so we will i will give you more example after the discussion of the uh, property to find the product of three integers we can either multiply the first two numbers first or the last two numbers first right so for example if you have four times negative three times two which is equal to you have to multiply first the two numbers which is four times negative three right times two or that is equal to four times negative three times two which is equal to negative 24 all right so in general if a b and c are integers then associative property of addition is equal to quantity a plus b plus c which is equal to a plus quantity b plus c okay that is under of associative property of addition while in the associative property of multiplication quantity a times b times c which is equal to a times quantity b times c all right so let's have more example about the associative property so for example in the associative property of addition for example if you have five plus 3 all right so let's put quantity first we have to add the first two number first and then plus 4 which is equal to 5 plus 3 plus 4 so as you can see okay so if you're going to add the first two numbers this one is 8 plus 4 and then it's the same here as 5 plus 3 plus 4 is 7 and then 8 plus 4 is 12 and that is equal to 7 plus 5 is 12 so that's how associative property works so another one if you have 8 plus 1 plus 2 that is equal to 8 plus 1 plus 2 right so we have to group this one part we have to add this one first and we have to add this one first so in this part in this side 8 plus 1 is 9 plus 2 and in this part is 8 1 plus 2 is 3 and 9 plus 2 is 11 which is equal to 8 plus 3 is 11 but in the multiplication of associative property so for example if you have 5 times 4 times 2 and that is equal to 5 times 4 times 2 so it's the same we have to multiply 
the first two number and then it's when he's multiplied us the first two last numbers so 5 times 4 is 20 times 2 which is equal to 5 times and what is 4 times 2 and that is 8 so 20 times 2 is equal to 40 while 5 times 4 is equal to 40 so that's how the associative property works okay for the last example under uh, multiplication of associative property so if you have 8 times 3 times 2 which is equal to 8 times 3 times 2 but we have to group them the first two number we have to multiply the first two number in this side but in this side we have to multiply the last two numbers okay and what is 8 times 3 8 times 3 is 24 then multiply by 2 is equal to 8 times 3 times 2 is 6 and 24 in this side 24 times 2 is 48 while in this side 8 times 6 is also 48 right so that's the unique way on how to multiply numbers using the associative property of um, multiplication and associative property of addition so that's all for today all right so if you are not yet subscribed in my channel please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so that you get notified the next time i uploaded my next video okay and if you want to share my video please do it thank you so much i really appreciate that one so that's all for today thank you so much bye for now